Hey, here we guys gals back again here in the Den of Tools. We did our 24 hour Prime Day deals yesterday and today we're back again with the best of Prime. We've rounded it up, it's 50 or more. It's a, it's an exciting time. Uh, the, the live stream, because it was over 12 hours, is not archived. It's YouTube, not us. Sorry, you can't go back and watch it. We'll try to figure out, maybe we can download it, splice it up or something. But here we go, let's dive into it and see what we got with the best of Prime Day deals. Now we're going to start off with a bunch of uh, around the house kind of stuff, and then we're going to move into some personal electronics, automotive tools, and whatnot. We got a lot to cover, so sit back, grab a pen and paper, some take some notes because let's go. Vitamix Propel Series. This is the 750 blender. This is, if you don't know, my wife is a huge fan making smoothies, that kind of stuff. She wanted a Vitamix for the longest time. I thought she was. I, I thought she was just out of it. I'm like, we're not paying that much for a blender. I finally gave in, got her one of the blenders. And wow, this thing is insane. It it spins so fast, it can create friction enough to like cook soups and stuff in. It's ridiculous. On sale right now, 37% off down to $400. Next up after that, the Instapot Pro. This one, I can't make rice to save my life. I can cook quite a few things. I'm actually not a terrible cook. I can barbecue. I can uh, do all sorts of stuff in, in, the, uh, in the kitchen even. But rice has never been a good one for me. If you're going to buy a rice maker, you're going to end up spending 40, 50 bucks. Get the Instant Pot Pro. So you, it'll do rice. It'll slow cook. It'll saute. So you can do sous vide in it. Uh, it'll do all that kind of stuff. And it, it's a 10 in one and it cooks rice for $113. This is a 10 in one, eight quart. This does it all. Single solution. So you don't have like a dozen different things across your countertop. Of course, we do anyway. <laughs> all right. The electric cooktop, I cannot say how much I love induction cooking, especially when you go camping in RV life, okay? We've got uh, electric, you know, everyone's got generators or the electric uh, equivalent, the uh, power stations. We've got a bunch of those. Or you're at an RV site where you're plugged in. S forget running po propane. Propane costs a ton of money. You're already paying for the electricity at the site anyway. Plug in, use one of these. They're great for outdoor cooking. They're great for added indoor cooking space. If you want to have, if your kitchen's not laid out the way you want and the cooktop isn't where you want, grab one of these, all right? Uh, Thanksgiving, you need extra cook space? Grab one of these. I am an absolute fanboy when it comes to these induc induction cooktops. All right, the Ninja Air Fryer. Okay, we always talk about air fryers. There's, there's, they're always going on sale. Uh, the Ninja is just one of these one, one of these companies that just kind of nails it. They get that 80-20, the 80% the of, the, of the performance for 20% of the value, but uh, or 20% of the cost. And, but Ninja, it's more like a 95-20 a kind of rule. Uh, they're really good. My wife has one that it's not the Ninja. It's similar. She's been doing, um, uh, was it pork belly, little, little chunks of pork belly seasoned and great little snacks in there if you're doing the carnivore keto kind of thing. Now, this one, my friend over at Freaking Reviews, he did a review on this thing, and it's stellar. You know, a lot of these air fryers and, and their convection ovens is what they really are, is you're putting a little bit of food in there and heating up the whole thing. My wife will make toast in the oven, two pieces of toast in the whole oven. I, I had to... I had to finally go out and buy a toaster because for years I told her to get one. She wouldn't do it. So I bought one. The kids had no idea what a toaster was. It's ridiculous. Anyway, this thing is fantastic because it doesn't take up all that room because most of the stuff you're putting in is slim anyway. Uh, and on top of that, it flips up out of the way when you're not using it. So you get your counter space back. It's on sale right now down from 220 to 149, 150 basically, 32% off. Remember that toaster I was talking about? Oh my God, my wife is totally going to give me heck when she sees this video. I know she, I was, I was razzing her about it all day yesterday. She, she smiles in front of the camera. You know, she's going to poison my lunch. That's what's going to happen here. Anyway, Prime Day deal, you get your uh, long slice four toast toaster because you can do bagels in there. You can do uh, you know odd pieces of bread, stuff like that. $29.70, just a good solid toaster with accessibility and ease of use for an affordable price. The 31,000 people have bought this toaster. Let's look at the reviews, all right? Uh, and the reviews on it, there's a little bit of a bump. Now, we call it the fish hook. Now, what that means is you look at the reviews and you look at like on its side, 
if it looks like a fish hook, like if the two and one stars start coming up and get bigger, that's where you're like, oh, there's something kind of weird going on here. And you want to look out for the fish hook. All right. This one, basically, if the if the one star is, is greater than the two and the three star combined, that's where I start going, huh, let me look at those reviews and make sure this isn't there isn't something squirrely going on here. At 5% versus 9%, I think it's all right. There's always going to be people, there's always going to be people who aren't happy with your product. It doesn't matter. A lot of times it's people who are not, you know, they don't read the manual. They don't know what's going on. They didn't pay attention to what they bought or they got it. Sometimes a lot of it is they got it uh, damaged in shipping. How's that the product's fault? Uh, all right. We get the Ninja kettle. All right. So my wife had got into the electric kettle thing. And that was one that actually made sense to me uh, right out of the bat because uh, I worked in kitchens a lot uh, on and off as miscellaneous jobs here and there when I was younger. And they all had those instant hot water things. I was like, wow, can you imagine having that at home? Well, that's kind of what this is. You know, this thing just it heats up super quick and then the base stays where it is and you can pick it up and you take it wherever you want, pour your hot water. And you can have almost instant hot water with this and at 70 bucks. And, and you'll be surprised what you'll use hot water for. You know, you're making some ramen, you're making some soup, you make some tea, hot chocolate, whatever it is. You can make drip coffee. You can do all sorts of stuff. And again, Ninja really makes excellent quality kind of stuff. Really bulletproof kind of things. Now, KitchenAid, this is where I get a little bougie here, okay? I've got this mixer, all right? And no, I did not pay the, the full price on it. The full price on this is uh, actually quite a bit. Let me here have to add it to cart. We're going to add this to cart here. And uh, no thanks, I'm not going to take your little warranty thing there with it. And it's coming in at $790. $790 on that. Now, I paid $25 for mine. All right. It was broken. I bought it at a, a bakery's going out of business sale. And it was just a cord. I went in and fixed it up. Absolutely love it. But And at 5% off, I mean, it's the commercial grade. It's it's a beast, but not everybody needs that. Not even everybody needs the really full size one. We got a KitchenAid Mini 3.5. Again, saving that counter space here, coming in at 259. And look at the color. I, I admit it. I have a thing for the Tiffany blue. I know I'm a big redneck kind of looking guy, and somehow I don't know what it is. It, you know what it is? It reminds me of Grandma's Kitchen back in the day. That's what it is. Uh, that that's exactly. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. But uh, if you want it in like sleek black, candy apple red. Uh, contour silver empire red. Ooh, empire versus candy apple. Um, what's the, they got a third one? Hot sauce. A little, they're going a little crazy with the reds. This is called ice. Uh, we got imperial black versus the uh, black matte, and then we got a couple whites. We got matte white and we got white white. Okay. Uh, anyway, I can't say enough about KitchenAid mixers. I love them. They're a little pricey. The mini here. This is the 3.5. This is the mini with the tilt head. Of course, I like the pro and the well the commercial, but you know, to each their own here. $259.99 on that one. Ice makers. We can't. I've had companies send me ice makers, and I gotta tell you, they are, I didn't know how they would do this. And it's really cool to watch these things work. Basically, they've got chilled fingers that go down in the water, then they come up and they've got ice around them. Then they reverse the chill, heat it up, and the ice falls off into the little bucket. It is, they will make nine cubes in six minutes. So by the time you like you walk into the, the kitchen, you hit go, and by the time you got your glass and everything ready to go, you got ice. Um, the uh, and, and this one's got a smart controller, so you could hit it from the other room, make me some ice, and by the time you you know get yourself ready and get in there, you've got ice waiting for you. It is so awesome. And then what we'll do is we'll make a bunch of ice and we'll do it throughout the day and we'll bag it, put it in the freezer. So if we have a party or something coming up, we always have enough ice on hand. We don't have to wait. We got one twenty seven ninety on this with a ten dollar coupon, not ten percent, ten dollar coupon on that. I, I can't say enough about these ice makers. There, if you got an RV. You go camping, stuff like that, you know, you don't have to be roughing it. You can be having ice, but I know you're like, but is it nugget ice? No, this is not nugget ice. If you want the nugget ice, I got you there. We got the GE Profile Opal One Nugget Ice Maker. This makes, as they say, the good ice. It's not cheap. Making the good ice is a much tougher process, and I would recommend not buying the super bargain ones on this. Buy one of the big name brand ones because it's harder on the machine. So we're coming in at, normally, normally this is $450. This is 49% off. Coming in at $229 on that. Again, go with the, the better ones if, if you need the nugget ice. I'm not a nugget ice person because I don't eat my ice. I, want, I just want my ice for my drinks. <laughs> but if you're an ice chewer and you like the good ice, that's your option right there. Now, I will say this. 
if you're getting ice, you can get some whiskey. You want to you want to smoke it for a little added flavor. This is something I do. I'm a I'm a bourbon drinker myself. I literally have a bourbon smoker right here on my desk. You know, Friday evenings at the end, long, end of a long week, and I want to relax at my desk and uh, and have a glass and maybe and maybe smoke it. The other thing you could do with it is I've smoked cheeses, cube a little cheese, throw it in there, smoke it, have it with my lunch. They're actually pretty awesome. They come with a little lighter and stuff. You got little things of wood chips you just toss in there. A ton of fun to play around with. Makes a great gift. This one comes with a nice wood box. Great presentation. It even has some whiskey stones thrown in there. A lot of things you can do with this. All right. This one, the guys in the chat went crazy for this yesterday. They're like, you got to look at the Yeti Rambler Slim. This is, yeah, it's a koozie. It is a koozie. And it's from Yeti. And you're like, oh, it's going to be $500. And normally it's $25, which for a koozie is ridiculous. But right now they are half off $12.50. And, and from what everyone's telling me is they're fantastic. I've not used them, but my gosh, the 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 people that were just in the chat yesterday, and we had so many great people in the chat during the live stream. It was such a long live stream. 24 hours just now the wife came in and spelled me for uh, for quite a bit of time. She did about a third of the day, uh, on and off. We tag team through it, but it was a long day. Um, anyway, and then if you want, like, well, hey, that's great for the twelve ounce. What about uh, drink the tall boys and stuff? We got you covered too. Sixteen ounce Coolster Tall Can Insulator coming at fifteen dollars again, fifty percent off. And this one's got all the colors. <laughs> Look at this. This has got everything in here. You choose your color. That is great. Uh, anyway, they, everyone said they were going crazy about it. They, they love these things. They couldn't say enough about them. So check it out there. Again, we're going to have links to everything down below as always. They're affiliate links. So they help out with the channel and whatnot. We really appreciate, you know, the way you guys support us and a great way to support us right now is just click the like button. Just chomp that like button down there. And that really, you know, lets YouTube know that you like what we're doing here. And maybe you consider subscribing because, you know, that's how you make sure you don't miss out on any of these deals. All right, we've got the the Dupasu. This was another one. We get a lot of truck drivers who follow our channel, and they chimed in because we were asking for, hey, what do you want to look for? And we had several people who were like, this Dupasu electric lunchbox is fantastic. You got to check it out. Uh, I've never used it. I've I'd never even seen it before. But the the truckers they're on the road all the time, and they live and breathe by their you know having portable food and being able to get good food rather than stopping and get the truck stop food and stuff. I know it can be tasty, but it's really healthy. This is a great option way to do it. You're coming in Prime Day exclusive deal, thirty six percent off at thirty two dollars, thirty one ninety eight on that. All right. TVAL, I looked for cookware. I was not excited about a lot of the cookware that was going on. I specifically looked for Lodge and cast iron, and the only thing I could find was the Amazon stuff, which I'm not a fan of. If I'm buying cast iron, I want to buy American-made Lodge. By the way, big news. The If you like the enameled uh, kind of uh, uh, cast iron cookware, you know that even the Lodge stuff is made overseas. Well, Lodge recently built a new factory and is going to be production, bringing production for their colored enamel cast iron to the United States. That's a huge win. That said, T-Fall, growing up when I was when I was in my 20s, I needed a cook set. Uh, T-Fall came through for me and it's just a great everyday, no nonsense cookware set. And 120 was, it's normally 180, 30% off coming in at $126. You're getting you're, you're getting the frying pan, you're getting a, what, what, four different pots, you're getting the pasta strainer, you're getting a saucepan, you're getting a mini skillet, and you're getting the griddle. Basically everything you need to get started and just have a nice complete cookware set. All the lids and everything you need. Come here, 14 pieces, pan, uh, dishwasher safe, in any color you want as long as it's black for $126. Next up, okay, if you've been around the channel, you know I'm a little bougie when it comes to knives. Now, my favorite portable knife, and I should have put this in there, but I didn't, is uh, like even when I go camping, I take my favorite portable chef's knife. I almost took a pinky off there. Anyway, Hinkles. I know a lot of people really like Hinkles, and I'm not trying to diss on Hinkles, but Hinkles is not really, you got, they've really expanded into this, in the bargain level. And I know 229 doesn't seem a bargain, but Hinkles can get quite expensive. But one thing you want to look at with Hinkles is look at the blade. Like here, it shows one guy. The actual Hinkles is two. It's the twins. That's the premium gourmet chef's knife, okay? So when you're seeing the single, the single guy without the twin, that's the 
budget version of Hinkle's. I want you to be aware of it. I'm not saying this is a bad set. I just want you to know you're not getting that top of the line Hinkle's. And that's the same also with my other favorite, which is Wustoff. Now I've got several of the, the higher level, the icon or iconic level Wustoff knives, and I absolutely love them. But if you're going for a block set that you just want really good quality, but you're not going to like, I'm not going to pay $250 per knife. And I don't blame you. This is the 16 piece knife block set with steel here. Remember steel doesn't sharpen your knife. Steel will take the burr off when the knife gets a little bit dull. So it's an in-between sharpening kind of thing. The other thing you can use, I'm looking around, I think I've got a coffee mug. I had a coffee, here, oh, it's it's propped up. If you take a coffee mug and you take the bot, you, like the stoneware, I'll, I'll just pull it out over here. All right, I know I'm making a mess of my desktop. We got our Denna Tools coffee mugs. If you take one of these and you don't, turn it upside down and you got that rough stone right there, you can use that rough stone part of your mug as a steel also. Again, it's not gonna sharpen, but it will take the burrs that build up over time off. So it's the in-between sharpening kind of thing. All right, let's keep going here. Oh, where'd I, where'd I go there? All right, now, I had a lot of people ask me, well, well, tell me what is a good actual professional chef's knife. Like if I went into a working kitchen, what are the real chefs using? And you'll be surprised because it's something like this, the Victorinox 8-inch chef's knife. Plastic handle, it's not pretty, it's not sexy, it just works all day long. Hard carbon steel. Uh, that carbon steel, rather than the stainless steel you see a lot on the cheaper knives, that carbon steel is what takes that edge and makes these great knives. And they will sharpen them all the way down until there's not much left to that knife. Then they'll toss it and get another one. These are working knives. They're not pretty. They're not sexy. Now, if you want a budget version of this, when it's actually my favorite. I think it's more bang for the money, honestly. And that's the Mercer Culinary. This, again, is a working chef knife. It's not pretty. It's not sexy. It does the job each and every day in a professional kitchen. It's on sale right now from $22 to $18. That is a sweetheart of a deal. Now, if you want something like, hey, I want that kind of chef, like real chef's knife kind of quality, high carbon steel, but I, I, I want something that looks a little bit better in my kitchen, they've got this one. It's got the traditional handle on it, $45 down from $56. Bucks. Again, these the blades on these, high carbon professional kitchen kind of, kind of blades. All right, next up. Stick backs. Everyone loves a good stick back. Quick, easy, you want to pick up. I got a Labradog. She sheds like nobody's business. Doesn't matter whether it's middle of summer, middle of winter. She about sheds another dog's worth every three days. I can I can start putting together, you know, plushy Labrador dogs. But that said, having a stick back around the house really helps. We're really partial to shark vacuums. I had Dyson for years. Uh, then there was a uh, then the Dyson died. I needed another one. I didn't have a bunch of cash. I'm like, I heard good things about these shark ones. I'm going to try that. Tried the shark, have not gone back to Dyson. That was 15 years ago. Shark IZ363 HT. I don't know what it means, but it's anti-allergen pet power cordless stick vacuum. Self-clean brush shawl power fence. I'm not going to read the whole thing. That is too long. They need to just have titles and get rid of the whole description in the title thing. Anyway, this thing is great. Let's take a look at the reviews to see if we got any fish hook going on. Uh, there's a little bit. We're looking at nine versus seven. You add the, the two and the three together. A little bit, but I'll tell you what. The, uh, I, I I trust Shark. They stand behind it. If you got one that was bad, Amazon will cover it or Shark will cover it. They'll take care of you there. For cordless stick back, it's not, it's not cheap, but it's not Dyson level price. Now, if you're willing to risk it for the biscuit, we got the Easy Tech Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. I can't say much about this one, but it's got 81 reviews. And we look at the... And they're all decent. There's no two and one stars, which makes me a little skeptical. But I mean, not many people out there buying four star reviews. So it, I mean, for a cordless vacuum, and it looks good. I like the shape, the form factor. Uh, comes with some extra filters. Coming in at seventy six dollars. I might be willing to try it at that price if I just want something that's that's budget minded. I can't afford the Shark or much less the Dyson. The Easy Tech might be the way to go. All right, robo cleaners. You're like, screw it. I don't want to clean. I want the robot to do it. iRobot, man, they came out and they've just owned this industry and they've been the top provider in the in the robot cleaning industry. Uh, and I've got tons of friends who have it. It will never last in my, in my house with the dog and the kids. And we got a small house and there's always stuff getting moved around. It would, it would get stepped on. It would die. But I got a lot of friends who have more organized houses than I do, and they swear by their Roombas. Now, this is the basic Roomba, Wi-Fi connectivity. 
good for pet hair carpets, hard floor, self-charging, yada, 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 $200. Now, if you really want the top of the line room, but comes back to its cleaning station, does everything for you, you just have to pull the whole thing out, dump it out every so often, you're looking at six fifty. dollars all right? That's 19% off on that one. Now, if you want something really fun, get the room before the ocean. That's the a Aper, is I think how it's pronounced. They reached out to me, they sent me one of these. And I got to tell you, I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I got a buddy who uh, is the service guy at a, a, a local hotel, a, a Marriott. And they've been sending him some new uh, chemicals for the, the pool, but they've been leaving a blue film, a spotty blue film everywhere. So every day he has to now go in and scrub the pool and it's driving him nuts. So I took this down there and we just let it go. And man, it just, it did the thing. And it, when it, we pulled out and there was, there was the blue right there in the basket. You just, you charge it, uh, you take it, you can set it to just the floors, just the walls, and it will climb the wall. Literally. My, my wife says I make her climb walls. Look at this. This thing does it right there for you. If it'll load the picture, there we go. Right up to the water line. It's got jets on the back that push it up against the wall. It's, it's really cool to play with. Anyway, you can set it to floor, walls, or both. And you just chuck it in the water and it writes itself and the little jets push it down to the bottom and it goes to town. Coming in at $800, 5% promo on that one. Let's see. Next up, we've got the, oh, I want to say a big shout out. Thank you to RV Mattresses. They're not sponsoring this, but they have worked with us in the past. They sent us the Aurora Lux there starting at $1,000 for our RV Short Queen. Oh my gosh. I know if you have an RV, if you go camping, you know RV mattresses suck, right? Just we know when the, the the mattress the RV comes with is terrible. This mattress was better than my home mattress. I actually look forward to going to the RV because I'm going to get a better sleep. We even got bunk ones for the <clears throat> all the bunks. For, they have every size, ridiculous amount of sizing. The Dream Foam Essential. They sent them for the kids. We set them up. The, our, our, the, everyone loves going to the RV because they know not only are they going to have fun, they're going to get good sleep. Check them out. They have a 30% off site wide. I'll have a link down below ends at midnight tonight although i have a i think they gave me a landing page that's going to give you that deal even if you miss it tonight we'll see all right we got to talk about some cooling here around the house you know and and i talk about dreo here they sent me some heaters some of the the like this but the uh the heater version of this and we use it in the rv right i don't have to run propane unless it gets down into like below 40, I don't have to run the, the house heaters anymore. And you know, when you're in an RV site, usually you're plugged into the their electricity and they're paying for it. So let's hear me pay for, for propane or they pay for electricity and heat my RV. That's the way I'm going. It's fantastic. It works great. It's got a little remote control. It pivots. This is their, their fan version. Does the, you know, it blows the fan around the air. Great for the home, for the office, for the RV. It gets in the corner. It stays out of your way. That's what I love about it. Now, if you're like, that's great, but I actually want cold air, not just blowing. Like if it's hot, blowing hot air is going to make it worse, right? Well, check this out. They've got, you've heard of swamp cooler, right? So a swamp cooler is basically something that sucks up water or drips water down uh, behind a fan and the fan blows. And so you get the moisture through there, the evaporative cooling swamp cooler. All right. Well, they've got this thing, which is essentially a swamp. There's a water tank at the bottom and it pumps the water through a media and it blows out and it cools it. And it also adds moisture to the air. Well, guess what? They also have ice packs, pre-made frozen, you know, ice packs. So you sit there, you put in your freezer, you take out, put in here and it really cools the place down. This is budget AC done right. All right, we used to make, come on, we and you, if you're my age, you know back in the day, you made your own little version of this thing, right? Well, this is it, all done for you, nice and slim, gets out of the way, $136 on that one. Now, if you want actual AC, but you can't put a window in, unit in, I'm going to recommend the Black & Decker 8000 BTU here. It's not a lot of frills, all right? but it gets the job done. 8,000 BTU, you're going to lose a little bit of that because it's in the room. So it heats up while it's making the cooling and it has to pull cold air that had just cooled into it to cool it off to then pump it outside. 
that's the problem with these, like we call them droid style coolers. All right. Uh, but they get the job done. I've used them for years. They are better than nothing. All right. At $300, that's a pretty cheap price to get some cooling in a room where you can't put a window unit in. Now, if you can put a window unit in, I admit, I am a straight up fanboy of Medea. I, I am a convert. I'm like one of those guys who quit smoking using one of those systems and wants to tell everybody else about it. We got one of these. It's a U-shaped air conditioner. Basically, if you know what a mini split is, which takes all the noisy stuff and puts it outside, puts the whisper quiet thing inside. This is a mini, mini split that goes in your window. And the window comes down into that U part and the quiet part stays inside and the noisy part stays outside. And on top of it, it's just not, it's not just an AC, it's an inverter AC. So it only runs as hard as it needs to run, uses, smooths out the electricity, gives you better juice, it works with she who shall not be named and Google Assistant. Uh, and I say it because I don't want to set off your devices. <clears throat> if I did, I'd say something like, hey, Alexa, subscribe me to the Den of Tools. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Anyway, the uh, I, we got this in our main living room. It's a smaller house. It's a two-bedroom house. It's it's 140 years old. It's historic. They're actually working to try and add it to the historic registry here in Montana. It's a great old house, but trying to add AC is really hard. We put this in that room, and, and it it's so cold, I keep having to turn it down. It gets so freezing in there. It's insane how good an AC unit this is, and it's so quiet. Our last, a droid cell one, the last one we had was so loud. This thing is whisper quiet. You won't, you'll forget it's on until you realize, why am I so cold? Anyway, coming in at normally $400. It's on sale for $379, but we stack the savings on that with a coupon knocking another $40 off of that. That's going to drop down to $340. For a smart inverter AC unit that's whisper quiet, you can't do any better than that. All right, now let's talk about some TVs, all right? I, there's been a lot of people asking, what about TV deals? What about TV deals? I don't know anybody who got the $100 invite. If you know somebody, I would love to hear it. But right now, it, it's like one of those cryptids. It's like Bigfoot or Loch, the Loch Ness Monster. I don't know if anyone actually ever got one. But what I can say is we got three of the Fire TVs here. Actually, four. We're starting off with the 32-inch, but that's only it's only... Um, it, they say it's HD, but it's 720p. It's not 1080 as far, if I remember correctly. Let's look at the ones down here because what we got is we got the 43, the 50, and the 55. All of them 4K. I am sitting in front of the 50 inch right now. I bought it in May for 310. I thought I got a screaming deal. I use, I only use 4K TVs for my computer monitors anymore and I have for years. And I switched about eight years ago, I think it was seven. I, I could be exaggerating. It's, it was a while ago. Anyway, I have one at home. I have one at my desk here and I keep one in the RV. Uh, the one it's our main TV in the RV, but I have it on a swinger and it comes out right in front of the couch. I have a little table. I can set up my laptop, plug it in. And now I've got an actual monitor rather than that little tiny laptop monitor. The, I've got the 50 inch. It's fantastic. I'm a big fan of the fire TV. Uh, the, the one in the RV is actually the, uh, the, it's the TCL. It's the other Roku. Roku is nice. It's decent. I prefer fire K or fire 4k TVs. Uh, it, anyway, I can't say enough about it at $290 for 4k TV. That's ridiculous. If you're looking for something for the house, actually to watch on the wall, probably go for the 55, but for the desktop. Now I haven't got a big desk. All right. It's six feet by three feet and it's on a swing arm at the back of the desk. So I can get by with a 50 inch. If you, if you have a regular size desk, you might want to go with the 43. All right. You might also want to work with, you know, height and stuff like that. All right. Next up, we're going to do the, uh, what is it? Here we go. If you want the really nice TV for, for the wall in the house, 65 inch, I've had 70 inches, uh, a 70 inch TV. I felt it was getting on the size of being a little too big. <laughs> Depending on the size of the room you're in, I find that 65 inch is an excellent size TV. It's not too big. It's not overwhelming. It's not too small. You can really see what's going on. Samsung. I love Samsung TVs. I love Samsung phones. Do not, do not, do not let your friends buy Samsung appliances. I don't care if it's a dishwasher. I don't care if it's a microwave, I, and especially if it's a refrigerator freezer. Don't do it. They they just they you may get one, it may be great, but there's so many returns on there's so many bad ones. So many times the ice makers eat themselves and you're constantly getting them repaired. Avoid Samsung appliances, they're just terrible. 
But when it comes to TVs, it's hard to beat Samsung. And this is the 65 inch Neo QLED 4K. All right, this has got the Dolby, this has got object tracking sound, motion accelerator, gaming hub, smart TV. It does up to, I think, it, and this is the new model for 2023. This is not like a two or three year old model that they're pushing through for prime days. All right, this is normally two grand coming in at 1698 on it. This is a good, solid, like nice TV to put in your living room. All right. Now, next up, we're going to look at the DJI Mini. All right, <laughs> Yesterday, oh my gosh, for like 10 minutes, the price on this dropped to $127 and I had a heart attack. Now, if you don't know, I actually have my FFA pilot's license for drones. that call it the Part 103C or whatever. Um, and anyway, the Part 103, I, I can't remember. I just let it lapse last year because I don't fly that much anymore. But I'll tell you this, DJI, nobody comes close to DJI for consumer and prosumer grade drones. Are there better professional drones? Yes, there are. High end, super high end specific ones. But for the average person, for something you just want to work, you want it to go where you want to go and you want to work on getting good good footage and not flying, you got to go with DJI. They just they just work and they work great. They have fantastic cameras. Uh 4K video, 48 megapixel, 34 minutes of flight time depending on the wind and how hard you're flying it. Automatic return to home if it loses signal, 729. This is a great price on it. The price we saw, the 127, it wouldn't let you order it. I tried and I tried to try to order it. Clearly, it was somebody fat fingered it. Um, anyway, it was it was a hoot. All right. Uh, everyday carry flashlights. Olight. I love Olight. I know a lot of people like Streamlight and all these other ones. Olight is, it just works. They're great prices when they go on sale. This thing is fantastic. It's got a regular light. It's the, first of all, the form factor fits in your pocket. It doesn't feel as bulky. I've got Olight flashlights. Like the, I've got a bunch of them. They send them to me all the time. They're great flashlights. I love them a lot. I specifically like the little one like this because it's got the, and they all have this kind of clip on it because I can take it and I can put it on there. And now I've got a headlamp. All right. I don't have to have a dedicated headlamp kind of flashlight, but that said, this one will do it too. It's a little heavy. You'll have to tighten up your hat a little bit, but it's got a it's got a great carry form factor. It feels good in the hand and it's got UV and UV is, you'll be surprised the uses you find for it. My son cut himself. We cleaned it up, pushed it together, put some super glue on it and rather sitting there waiting for it to dry, switched it to UV and went just, it crazed right up, set perfectly. He was like, that feels so weird. He's like, I can feel it setting. Uh, you can find scorpions, other bugs with it. Uh, you can check out your 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 uh, your hotel room. I don't know if you want to do that, but you can do it. Do not look at the UV light. This is actually a really powerful UV light. All right, it can actually damage your eyeballs fairly badly, so don't look at it. Beware of reflective surfaces as well. Next up, we got a couple headphones for you. When the guys went back and forth, we got the Sony noise canceling with extra bass, and that's on it. There we go. And the Sennhauser with uh, with uh, active, again, noise canceling everything. I've had the Sennhauser. Um, I've had a version of these before, and I had the Sonys. I preferred the Sonys, all right? that's Maybe that's just me, but that's what I liked. The um, the Sonys are on sale for 118 They come with a soft case or semi-soft. I'm a big nerd about the semi-soft cases. I really love those. The... Uh, the, the Sennheisers do not, as far as I know, uh, but I, I've, I've loved the Sennheisers. I, they're, they're great. I thought they were fantastic. I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. My preference leans towards the Sony, but we'll put both of them down there for you to choose, all right? All right, real quick, I'm going to cover this. We're going to get into the tool. Somehow this got put in the wrong section. Everyday car carry is what I call it, all right? And kind of go, I may have put it there because it was going with the flashlight. Everyday car carry. This is stuff I leave in my car at all time. And this is a tool set. Now, I'm not, the Amazon does not make this tool set. They OEM it from somebody else. There's a lot of these tool sets you'll find on Amazon and they kind of vary a little bit, but my requirements are, it has to have the sockets, it has to have some wrenches, it has to have at least two, if not three of the, the ratchets, but it also needs to have that big channel lock style tongue and groove plier. That, and it needs to have the adjustable wrench and the needle nose. And the reason is, that adjustable wrench and that uh, that tongue and groove, the uh, the the channel lock style, that is those are your catch alls. If it doesn't fit the socket, it doesn't fit the, fit the wrench. I had an issue. I had a blowout on a trailer, and the blowout bent 
the fender, there's this little sheet metal fender down into the wheel well, so I couldn't put the spare on. So I had one of these and I was able to grab that that uh, that fender and wrench it back and get it up out of the way. It wasn't pretty, but I was able to get back on the road and get to where, I, get home was where I was going. They're nice, they're slim, they'll slide under a seat. I keep them behind the back seat in my pickup truck. I have a version of this in every one of my cars and I paid closer to a hundred bucks for mine at $73.59. That's a fantastic deal. All right, next up we've got laptops. Somebody asked about laptops. I'm a huge fan of Chromebooks, all right? Uh, I ran a company in Silicon Valley for nearly 20 years. I was chief operating officer, did all the day-to-day -day kind of stuff. Uh, and we worked with Google for a while. And I used Chromebooks on and off. Google forces you to work on their platform for security reasons. And they sent us all the, this laptop, the HP Chromebook. They're an absolute tank. They're next to impossible to destroy. They just work. You're always on the internet anyway. That's the thing with Chromebooks is they, they have to be connected to the internet to really do and function the, the way they're supposed to. But you're almost always on the internet anyway. All these phones come with hotspots. You can turn on your phone to turn it into a hotspot. When, it, when the kids got old enough and they were just like, hey, we want a tablet or something. I'm like, tell you what, instead of a tablet, we're going we're gonna to get you all Chromebooks. All right. And they, up until the point where they were like, okay, now I need a real computer. They, you know, because they want to do gaming and stuff like that. The Chromebooks are where it's at. We still keep a Chromebook next to the couch at home just so you can pull it up and type things in. Because so, we have tablets and we have phones, but when it comes to when you have to type, you want a keyboard, Chromebook's where it's at. Now, if you want a budget gaming uh, PC, somebody asked for a budget uh, video editing PC and basically video editing and gaming and uh, uh, if you're doing CAD and stuff like that, it's all, it's all basically the same kind of specs. This is one I found. This is the Acer Swift. Acer is a decent brand. They're not a top line brand. They're a budget brand, but they're a solid brand. Uh, 14 inch, I would prefer to 15 inch, but 14 inch isn't bad. Anyway, I'm gonna plug it into an external monitor anyway. Uh, AMD Ryzen 7. I'm a huge fan of the Ryzen, the AMD chips. You just get so much bang, more bang for the buck out of AMD than you do out of Intel. The NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti, so it's got a dedicated, aka what they call in the computer world, a discrete. So it's rather than having the video built into the board, it's got its own chip system there. It's like having a separate card in it. That's not a bad one for a laptop like this. Uh, it's got 16 gigabytes. You can, you can get by with eight, all right? I run 32 on my system here that I use every day. 16 to me is, because I'm a power user, 16 is the bare minimum. So getting something with eight for most people, just if you're going to do video editing and any kind of stuff, play game, maybe, maybe for games, 16 is where you want to be. 512 gigabyte SSD, that's fine. Wi-Fi 6, backlit keyboard, Windows 11 in gray. $629 down from 920. That's 32% off. That is the best value gaming, video editing, CAD kind of uh it's, it's not going to be the best one. I, I run a um, an i7 on this one, and I just bought a brand new PC that's running a Ryzen 7 uh, full. Like I, I think I spent like $2,200 on it. Um, but if I had to go with a budget portable system, that would be what I'd buy right now. All right, let's talk about some automotive stuff. All right, in fact, I've got one of these sitting here right next to me, and that is the launch. Now, Launch reached out to me and said, hey, we want you to take a look at some of the OBD2 scanners. And they said, well, let's, we're going to send you this really budget one kind of stuff. And I said, no. I, what I keep getting, uh, hearing time after time from all my viewers is, we want something that is bi-directional. All right, a regular OBD2 scanner is single direction. It can read what you're sending. Now, they can usually clear codes, which is a form of bi-direction because it is going both ways. But it can't really talk to the car. This talks car all right and what that means is and i did a video on monday you can go check it out is like i can send codes to simulate things that the car is doing like i was sitting there with the tablet i'm like put the, the driver's window up and the driver's window went up turn the heated seats on and heated seats turn on it bypasses the switches and stuff so i can go oh is the switch bad because i can tell the computer like oh i just flipped the switch if my switch isn't working, if my window's not going up, is it the motor or is it the switch? Well, if I send it with this command and the window goes up, I know it's not the motor. That's what's good about this. And it does other things. That's really simple kind of stuff. You can do all sorts of stuff with the engine, with the transmission, all sorts of stuff, actuate, all sorts of things. Bidirectional is where you start getting into real diagnostics because now you can simulate situations. You're not just 
listening to the car, you're talking back and forth and having a conversation. All right. You, like think about it. the doctor's like, you know, where does it hurt? And you're like right here. What if you couldn't ask you any more questions? Not much of a diagnosis. Also has a camera on the back, has a kickstand built in, super rugged. And I, one of the things I love it is it's got buttons. Now it's coming in $465. Psh, we're not doing 465. That's not the way we do things around here. All right. If you've not been a subscriber, first of all, you're missing out on some deals. We do mostly tools and stuff, but we're trying to integrate some more stuff as well. So I've got a code down below that's going to drop this down even more. So you apply the $26 uh, dollar off coupon and then you're going to apply the code. And I think it's going to come in around 372, something like that. So check it out that for a bi-directional with all the features as rugged as this is, built-in buttons, everything with the camera, it does a ton of stuff. That is a great price on this. But don't worry, we, we're not stopping there. We got more to go. All right, if you want a budget version, okay, $349 on this with a $30 coupon on top of that. But wait, but wait, Xtool reached out to me. Like I told them we're doing this whole thing and they sent, they, I've got one of these here too. And I said, we're doing the Prime Days. They're like, well, we're gonna send you this. This is the deal price is the final price with the code. I got a 7% promo code I'm gonna put down below. The final price on this is going to be $297. $297. That is an insane price on a, again, another bi directional scanner. But now, as you notice, this is not the rugged version. All right. This is, we're going to call this the prosumer. This is going to be your value pro. If I'm like in a shop and running my own shop, doing my own thing, maybe trying to become a mechanic on the side kind of thing, running my own thing, this is the way I'm going to go. If I'm just a DIYer who actually wants to do real diagnostics, I'm going to do this. Much slimmer, no buttons, no camera, no kickstand. Uh, but it's it does a lot of the same stuff, if almost all the same stuff. It's just you're not getting as robust a system with it, okay? Again, under $300 with the coupon code. We'll have that all down below. Be sure you check it out. All right. Next up, we've got the X-Tool Advancer. That this is an OBD2 scanner that is itty bitty. All right. This thing is tiny. And the reason for that is you just leave this plugged into your car generally. You plug it into your car and then you grab your cell phone and you pull the app up on your cell phone. And now you have one of these scanners. Now it's not bi-directional. You're just going to be able to read stuff. But I leave it plugged in. I run a big diesel and uh, I got the Ram Cummins 6.7, whatever. Anyway. I just always want to know what's going on. I'm one of those nerds. I always want to know it. So I have one of these in all my vehicles. And I, if the, I'm like, hey, that's sounding a little weird. Let me pull up my thing. Or I can just run and sit there and look at the specs as I'm driving. Especially, I do it a lot when I do road trips. I know I put a lot of strain on the engine. If I'm towing, stuff like that, I have it constantly running. And this is coming in at, we're, we, we've got a discount on this one too. Uh, we're like, this is the 82 on AD20 Pro. Now, last year they had the 8020. This is going to be a 25% off coupon. Final price on this is going to be 30 bucks, 29.99 with the code. All right. This adds from last year, this adds read and clear all codes as well as maintenance lights resets uh, and uh, some other diagnostics, all systems diagnostics as well. You'd be stunned how much you can get out of a $30 OBD2 scanner like that. All right, let's keep going. We've got Top Don. <laughs> Top Don is one of, again, one of the ones I found out about them a few years ago and have just basically been like, where have you been all my life? All right, we've got the battery scanner. Now this is gonna, if you wanna test your batteries, see how they work, see see what's going on. This is what you're gonna put on there and it's going to, it's gonna test, it's gonna do load tests and it's gonna get you a full diagnostics and analyze your, your battery system, whether it's for your motorcycle, your ATV, SUV, boat, car, truck, whatever. It's a fantastic system, all right? Now, what we got next is, now if I can get over there, is this is one where I'm really excited, which is the Top Don 2000. Okay, this is what I'm kind of excited. The really excited is the next one. Uh, it basically, they're both, uh, they're both uh, jump starters. I always have a jump starter in my vehicle, okay? Now, as I said, my I, we got three cars up here in Montana. We've got, I drive the Ram, which is the, the 6.7 uh, diesel. My wife drives, and that's 2014, my wife drives a 2009 Ford Expedition uh, XL, and I don't remember, it's got a big eight-cylinder gasser in it. And then we have as a backup, we have a 1999 Suburban, again, big eight-cylinder kind of thing. 
So I, you know, I, I believe in the uh, overkill is underrated. So I keep one of these in all of my vehicles and I'm immensely happy with them. Uh, usually the, the one that gets used the most is the Suburban. Somehow we always leave the lights on probably because everything else turns off automatically in the other vehicles in the Suburban you forget because you've been driving your newer car and everything turns off automatically. So the Suburban gets jumped the most. But honestly, I get to be play superhero a lot with these because, uh, you know, there's always somebody around town and it's a small town who you, you look over and they're trying to start their car at the market or something and it's dead. And you walk on over and you're like dead battery. They're like, yeah, you got any jumper cables? I'm like, no, I can do you one better. So I can, I can save the day and not risk hooking my car up to your wonderful vehicle there. And the, uh, and literally, and they're like, you're a freaking hero and like three minutes i was done and back throw it back in my car and i'm ready to go it'll jump start a vehicle a, just a bajillion times the battery lasts uh i check it every six months i probably have to charge it you know just top it off once a year kind of thing um anyway the we got the 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 js 3000 which is up to nine liter gas seven liter diesel for 136 dollars all right and the uh the where we go and then the the 2000 which will handle most medium trucks down to any car eight liter gas to six liter diesel it's coming in at 85 dollars there's a 15 percent off coupon that's gonna make it 70 bucks that the just ridiculously good products i can't say en enough about top don i i admit i'm a bit of a fanboy about it here uh anyway the uh <laughs> the, they're just they're they're one of the things that I say I'm everyday car carrier. There's something you should have in your car all the time. Now, one of the other things I think you should have in your car is an inflator. Now, Yantu, this company, they actually paid for a sponsored video. And they sent me a little, one of the little lithium, little tiny, super compact, sexy looking little inflators. And would it do a car? Sure. It would. I ran it on my truck. We deflated the tires on my truck and ran it and it would only get it up to like 40, 45 PSI. And my trucks when I'm running highway kind of stuff is running at 80. My RV is running at 80. Uh, and I tried it, tried it, it killed the battery, would not get it higher. They sent me a second one. Same thing. Uh, the, and they're like, and I did the video and I told them they were like really upset. They're like, we take the video down. I'm like, no, I need to be honest. People need to know you rate this at up to 150 PSI and it, or I think it was 125. Anyway, you, you rate it up that it'll do these kind of tires and it won't. If I'm running a Camry or something like that, it's perfectly fine. It's great. Go with that one. Uh, but I like, you know, you need to step up your game. They stepped up their game. They sent me this thing. It is an absolute beast. It's, it's over here. Oh my gosh. The thing weighs a ton. This is, you, you're not, it's huge. All right. It is super heavy duty. It feels like it's a, a commercial grade air compressor. It hooks into your car's battery, so it doesn't have its own battery. There's nothing sleek and sexy about it. This one gets the job done. That is going to live in my truck. Good job, Yantu. You, you did it on this one. Uh, and uh, But if you do want that portable, compact kind of style, Fantic makes this one, the X8 Apex. It will do 80 PSI. Now, full disclosure, Fantic did send me a couple of these about a year ago. Uh, here's what I'm going to say. I can do on the R We keep it with the RV. And I can do, if they're not too low, I can get two tires up to 80%. Uh, I have four tires on the RV. So basically what we have to do is we know if we're leaving on day X, uh, two days before it, we have to have it charged and ready. We do one set of tires one day. We do the other set of tires the day we're leaving. <clears throat> and it gets them done. It does. And it, it's not the fastest thing in the world. For regular car tires, for your Camry, it's awesome. And it, but it's normally $130, which is why I don't talk about it a lot. But on Amazon Prime, we're, they're knocking it down 31% to $90, $89.97, down to 90 bucks. That's a great deal. But there's also a coupon code that takes it down to 80 bucks. At 80 bucks, I'll talk about it. All right. If you're looking for your Camry, that kind of stuff, great one to go with. Will it do an RV? It will ish. If you really want something that does high pressure, get the Antic. That is an absolute tank. It's ridiculously how overbuilt that thing is. Uh, but if you just want something small and portable, go with the uh, the Fantic. They make great quality products. They're just usually too pricey for me to recommend. All right, this one's a new one. I was looking for it. So we got the, the three vehicles, right? Well, my truck, 
my pickup truck has a backup camera in the hitch in the in the the latch and it's got one on the bed light so i can see the bed big broad perspective and then i can see at the hitch uh or yeah basically at, at the, the 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 gate level uh which is great my the the 2009 Ford Expedition has the best backup camera I've ever seen. I think it's 4K. It's ridiculous how clear that thing is. But the truck that needs it the most, the Suburban, doesn't have anything. It's a 99. It's not going to have anything. But it's got that split doors on the back, which are fantastic. If you're putting things in and out, the Suburban split door system, the gate uh, kind of is great. But what it does is it puts a big beam right down the center when you're trying to back up, which makes it next to impossible to see stuff right behind you enter the backup camera. Now I've, I've played along all around with a lot of backup cameras over the day and you got to wire them up and then you got to wire it like over to your brake light to get power to it. And then you got to run that cable and you got to tuck it in all, do all this stuff to get it up to the dash so you can actually put it up to the monitor. This does away with all of that, all of that. So you've got the, the unit that sits there that bolts to the, the, either the top or the bottom of your license plate. It's got a solar cell on it. It also has a USB port if you want to charge it. Like if you park in a in a garage and it's parked in a garage for a long time, you could like put a, a USB power pack in your trunk and run the, the cable out to it. And then when it can charge off a of solar, it'll charge off a of solar. Uh, and then it does wireless to its own HD uh, uh, system that sits on your dash and plugs into the cigarette lighter. For 120 bucks, that is a great solution. No wiring. Just none. You bolt it in, you plug it in your cigarette lighter, and it's auto paired, and you've got HD backup. I, I, it's, it's. I'm just overwhelmed. Like, where, where has this been all my life? All right. Next up, we've got the. Uh, all right, we're going to talk about a little bit of outdoor power equipment. There wasn't as much great outdoor power equipment deals here, but the Greenworks mowers are my favorite middle of the line mower. If you want a budget mower, Hart is the great budget mower. If you want a top of the line Cadillac, go with uh, with Ego. Ego is the, you know, and then Greenworks is the mid-range. It's the Chevy Buick Cadillac uh, of, of, of mowers. This is the Buick right here in the middle. You're getting most of the luxury with, you know, a little bit of price savings on it. This, the Greenworks, this top one here, 80 volt, two or with the four amp hour battery here, uh, self-propelled for 400 and, uh, and 30, was it 439? We got the 21 inch here coming at 284. That's ridiculous. 284 with a five amp hour battery, 40 volt. Now 40 volt is like average. That's the bare minimum. I think you need for mowing most yards. 80 is going to get, that's going to get brushed. You can get the high torque. You've got that thick, uh, uh, fescue style grass. That's, what's going to get that one. All right. The, uh, Where's the, they had another one down. Oh, they got rid of it. Excellent. They had one that uses like the two 24 volt batteries. I'm not a fan of that one. I'd be happy with any of these on this list. They're fantastic here. Uh, again, I highly, those are the three I recommend. If you're on a budget, get Hart from Walmart. If you got a little bit extra money, but you don't want to pay all the money for the Cadillac, get the Buick. That's Greenworks. And if you want the Caddy, you got to go with Ego. Problem is sale right now on Ego, not great. Stick around, make sure you've liked and subscribed. We'll cut, we always, every Monday we do a deals of the week and I always look for good Ego deals. All right, next up, power. We got, again, we got the Chevy Buick Cadillac here going on. This is the Chevy Dobson. They're a new player. You can get two extended batteries for this sucker, which is quite a bit of power. We used it for, I use that for my barbecue outside because we don't have outside power here. I've got a, a Pit Boss pellet grill out there. And I use it to run that, run the lights, run the radio, all sorts of stuff out there. It's fantastic, all right? I can't recommend it enough. I'm, I've been really happy with it. For as much power as you get, 2,200 watts for 12, basically 1280. That is a fantastic price on this. And it is fairly expandable. If you are looking for a budget emergency camping power solution, this is the way to go. Now, if you want the middle of the road, we're going to talk about Anchor. Anchor has the 767 here. Let me refresh it, make sure the price is the same. Okay, we're the 767. We did a video on this one. Fantastic. I absolutely love it. Uh, the, the, it has the features that I, it has the rolling. I just absolutely love that. Why don't they all have that? Uh, now, one thing I hate on these power units is when they put the lights on it. The Dobson has that. They do that sin. They've got that little light. 
It's got three settings. It's got dim, it's got bright, and then it's got SOS. I'm lost in the woods, but I've got my super heavy portable power system blinking SOS. Oh, please, nobody needs that. Nobody wants that. Anchor has is the only one I've seen that's got a light in it where I'm like, okay, that's fairly usable. It's diffuse, it's big. It just puts out a nice glow everyone everywhere. It's got like a low and a high setting, but the high isn't gonna like blind you or anything. And it makes, and it's, that's what it is. It's a camping one, all right? It's great for an RV. It's got an RV plug in it. It is expandable. You can add, I think, two other external batteries to it as well. But this is portable power. This is not really the kind of thing you're going to be hooking up to your house, all right? You Can you? Yeah, I'm sure you could wire it up and do it. But it, that's not really where its bailiwick is, all right? $1,600. It's a great price. It's really well made. Anchor makes fantastic stuff. As I said, I have all of these in the shop. I've tested, used them, really happy with this one. But if I'm going for home, whole home power, if I want a real emergency power that at some point I might expand to actually run my entire house, I'm going with EcoFlow. EcoFlow is the Cadillac of, of portable power kind of systems. I have this, the Delta 2 Max. If you're going to buy anything from EcoFlow, make sure it's in the Delta 2 series or the two, what it has two in it. Two means that they've switched from lithium ion to LifePo4. Now the other two ones, the Dabson and the Anchor are all LifePo4 batteries. The Delta II is a LifePo4. LifePo4 means that you get a lot more, like a, a lithium ion can be recharged 100, 200 times, maybe through, maybe more, maybe, okay? These can exponentially 10 or 20 times more than that. We're talking thousands of recharges, which for a home battery system is important, right? On top of that, Lithium ion has a problem with thermal runaway. They can overheat and keep heating up and they can catch on fire. Look up lithium ion fires, spontaneous lithium ion fires. It it happens. LifePo4 doesn't have that problem. It, it doesn't spontaneously combust. Uh, so they're safer and they have more recharges. They, they're a little bulkier that there's always a give and take, right? You never win. Anyway, this is normally a $2,000 box. On sale, it comes down to $1,800. We're like $1,500 on this box. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've got a video out on this. You can go check it out. We took it camping uh, or took it fishing. We're, we're, we're in Montana. We do a little fly fishing. I took the uh, kids up to one of my favorite smaller kind of creeks. We don't fish the big water. There's too many tourists and other people on it. And I like the activity of getting up in the creeks, getting out in the water, uh, and uh, getting in there with the fish rather than just floating by and snagging them as you can. All right, yeah, I'm being snotty about it. If you need some just day portable power, uh, the River 2 is fantastic. Great for if you just need like a CPAP for the night, uh, you're out camping. I will say this, if you have a heated CPAP like I do, leave the heated portion at home. This that'll It won't do the whole heated CPAP thing, but a regular CPAP you'll get two or three nights out of without a problem. Coming in at 179, great little port. It's a step up from like, you know, little charges you have from your phone, but and it's got a great little handle. And the best thing is the handle's on the side. That's another sin that uh, power supply companies do. They put the handle on the top, like Jackery. I absolutely hate Jackery. Jackery is overpriced for what you get. They use a lot of propriety stuff. Do not buy Jackery. Like I say, don't buy Samsung appliances. Don't let your friends buy Jackery. They're, they're junk. Get the EcoFlow. They put the handle on the side because these things are heavy. So when you're stacking all your stuff, you can't put this on top. If you've got the handle, you can't put anything on top of it. It's flat. You can put things on top of it. When you're camped, you can use it. It's, it's actually recessed. So you can like, I can put my keys, my wallet, kind of like acts like a little valet kind of thing. I love this thing. All right, let's keep going. Next up, we've got the Lasgu. This is, Lasgu sent me, I have it around here somewhere. I, oh, here it is. Lasgu sent me one of these. They we, We've talked with them before and they had this little budget uh, self-leveling laser. It was like $30. I'm like, oh, you know, for the average Joe, yeah, that's fine, kind of stuff. But for you know somebody who's serious, that that's not going to cut it. Uh, they heard me. This is the new one. Look at this setup: corrugated foam, the super super dense foam. Look at that. The build quality of this thing is fantastic. It comes with not one but two batteries. Look at these; they're like the uh, the Samsung camera kind of batteries. Look at those things, and look at this. They have power meters in them. You hear that, DeWalt? Even the budget guys can put power meters in their budget their budget batteries, DeWalt. I give DeWalt a hard time. They're, they have 1.3 batteries. They're the ones they sell with all the kits. Don't have a power meter in them. I'm like, what is your deal? Put a power meter in that thing. You're, you, 
everyone needs one. It's just ridiculous. All right, let's talk about something that everyone needs. If you have a shop, you need to have a belt and spindle sander. Full stop. This thing is fantastic. Rigid made these popular. The company, uh, their, their patent ran out, and the company that sells them started making this version, and they OEM it to a dozen different people. All right, Harbor Freight sells one. Win, Grizzly, Triton, Kingsbird, uh, tons of companies sell these things. Hold on, I can take a sip here. That's my secret, how I keep going. Caffeine in a can. Um, anyway, fantastic. You, you got to get them. Just, just do it. Just listen to me. I don't want to argue about it anymore. If you've been around the channel, you know I preach the oscillating spindle, belt and spindle sander gospel all the time. Lowest price in 30 days. Lowest price I've seen in like five years, all right? This is a ridiculously cheap price. I've got one right behind me. I think I got the Harbor Freight. I've had one of these at my other shop. We sold it because I just didn't want to move it. And we were there was just too much going on when we moved. Uh, I think I still have one in storage somewhere. Uh, they're fantastic. Win, I will say Win's customer service, not great. These things are bulletproof. They're just bulletproof. Uh, definitely get one of these. All right, nice. All right, gas leak detectors from Top Test. These things are fantastic. This is the pen version. We got a couple different ones. And you just turn it on, you let it calibrate. It takes like 30 seconds. And then anything that's anything is flammable. We got propane, natural gas, uh, butane here, the dog. Anyway, full lighter. But I press it. Don't let it click. There's the gas. No, no, for sure. You know, I'm not saying don't do the whole soap and whatnot. Do that, but also do this. I keep one of these in my RV at all times. Why? Because we deal with propane. You're constantly doing hookups and stuff like that. You want to have that. You want to have that level of security. They've got the kind with, oh, it's all tangled up in my multimeter. They have the kind with the gooseneck. So you can really get, like if it's down in there, you can get down in there and really reach out and find out. It's the same thing. It's just a different form factor. They all come with batteries. They come with, like, mine came with Duracell. Batteries probably cost more than the than the item. Uh, anyway, uh, there's that one. There's the, the gooseneck. We've got the sound meter. Get a sound meter. That's 20, was it's $24. There's a 5% off coupon. That's going to knock a, a buck or so off of that. Comes with the batteries. And now you can tell whether the stuff you're using, whether you need to be wearing air protection. If it's over 80 dB, you need to have ear protection on. It's not a discussion, guys. You don't want to be like me. I didn't know about stuff like this. I'm 54. They didn't talk about this when I was younger. I'm telling you now, so you got no excuse. You don't want to be, huh? What? Every other word. What? And it's only going to get worse for me. All right? Listen to me. Don't don't hurt yourself. Anemometer. I love these things. I don't know. I, I fly drones, right? So, well, I fly them sometimes. Not as much as I used to. But knowing what the wind is is a good thing. Camping, fishing. There's other uses. I like it. I'm a geek. I, I'm a weather geek. I grew up in Iowa. Weather is life. All right. And then we got the uh, the the moisture meter. Now everyone's like, oh, that's just for woodworkers to t find out if the wood's good enough. No, no, no. You got a house, you need a moisture meter. You want to find out if, if these things, they got these little pins in them. All right. Like this. These are sharp. Okay. You just, you turn the thing on. All right. My, now my desk is made of wood and I can press it into the desk. Low, right? And you're like, well, maybe it's not working. Oh, that is sharp. What is it? It'll keep going. I have a high moisture content. That's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you got a house, if you got a boat, if you have an RV, uh, you need to, if you got a barn, you need to know if what you're seeing is rot. You got a little warping in the wallpaper. It'll put little tiny pinpricks in it. No one will notice. And you'll find out whether you've got rot back there. Definitely something you need to have, okay? All right, let's go. Next up, we've got Tesman. This is the multimeter it got, it got mixed up in. This thing, it is a fun little multimeter. It, is it super amazing and fancy? No, it's not. But you know what it does? It's great for testing batteries. It's great for testing continuity, chasing wires, that kind of stuff. I wouldn't hook it up to mains myself. It's $10, it's sub $10. They even dropped more. It was like ten fifteen yesterday. It's nine fifty nine. Everyone said day two was going to be worse. It's turning out day two is better. I, I can't explain it. 
I have, I keep one in my desk at all times, batteries, all sorts of stuff. I test with it, make sure things are working right. That they're, that, and that way I can, I, you can, you know, it's a process of elimination. If I can say, okay, I know the battery's good. It's got good context. I can move on to the next thing. All right. If you want something a little bit better, clamp meters, you gotta, you gotta follow the, the gospel of the clamp, the clamp meter. Uh, and this is, they're more expensive ones. This is not the best one out there. What I like about this one is at 30 at sub $40 with a 10% off coupon on top of that. So you're looking at 38, 39 and it's going to drop 380 off of that. You got like 35 bucks for a clamp meter. This is going to teach you how to use a clamp meter. All right, and once you've you've done like rush testing and stuff like that, you will understand why these are important. I can't really, in this kind of context, explain and show to you why you need one. Clamp meters, ask your electrician friend. They swear by clamp meters. There's a reason for it. All right, benchtop power tools. All right, used to be like Jet and Delta and, and Dayton were the ones to go with stuff like that. They've all gone either, they've either gone away they or gotten way worse or have gotten super expensive or have gotten worse and super expensive and finding a good and uh you know you look for a used grinder on craigslist and someone's like i want 700 dollars for it i know what i got ran when parked buck tool has come to save the day again coming in that 80 20 kind of rule these things are fantastic they're built like tanks this is an eight inch low high speed dual speed grinder there uh, it does everything you need, uh, and it, it just works, and it's solid as a rock, okay? Now, I've worked with, with Buck Tools. They've sent us a couple things. The latest one they sent me is this one. I'm thinking about playing around with doing some knife making for the budget knife maker. There are better ones out there, and you'll get the knife makers. You need to get a 72-inch, 2-by-2-inch sander or belt grinder, or you're not a knife maker, and it's just stupid to waste $200 on that. Yeah, because I should spend $2,500 to try a hobby to see if I like it. This thing's fine, all right? And you can sharpen chisels. You can sharpen all sorts of stuff around the shop. It's got the disc uh, on the side as well. This is a 1x42. It's dual speed. Uh, it's, wait, is this one dual speed? No, this one's not the dual speed. I take it back. This one is, they have a, another one. This, the one I have is the dual speed. This one's just on and off. Uh, anyway, 5 amp brushless motor for metal working, 3 quarter horsepower. They're, they're built solid. All right, they're, they're, as the kids would say, they're built different. Coming down from 230 to 195, I can't say enough about Buck Tool. They've got the uh, the 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 bench uh, drill presses now with the laser guide, variable speed coming at 295. Yes, Win has one for a little bit less. As I said, Win's customer service not the greatest. Buck Tool, fantastic people over there. All right, let's keep going. We've got Arc Captain. Now, Arc Captain sent me one of these. I'm stunned. Uh, I used to be a big fan of Yes Welders, and I worked with Yes Welder, and they make some good stuff. The Arc Captain, I'm stunned with the functionality that's built into this thing. Six-in-one gasless MIG, uh, gas MIG, gasless flux core, MIG stick, lift TIG, spot welding, spool gun, all of that. Uh, 110, 220, aluminum multi-process with LED display. Uh, it, it's got everything, but I'm not a great welder. Pretty good grinder, not a great welder. 400 bucks, but there's a $30 off coupon on top of it. If you've been looking for a budget multi-process welder, this thing is fantastic. And it, it's on my cart right now. It, it, it's the, the lead welder on my cart. Again, not that I'm a great welder or anything, but I think for a DIYer, it's it's hard to go. I'm moving over from West Yes Welder to Art Captain, I think, uh, as my go-to uh, welders. All right, next up, we've got... Gear wrench, not a lot of great hand tool deals. I've been looking and looking and looking. This is a good set here. This is a solid set. This is going to get your four piece flex head set uh, for $87, normally $120. Gear wrench, the, the originator of the tool truck alternative, where you like, we're going to sell you tool truck quality at, at non tool truck prices. They started the whole trend. Fantastic wrenches or ratchets there. Uh, all the whole four flex head set there for $87. That's it's like 23 22 bucks 2250 each something like that math math hard all right 3d printers we got two 3d printers i'm gonna i'll start with the budget one first the any cubic it's in my shop right there they sent it to me fantastic absolutely loved it i was i've been doing 3d printers since the whole 3d printer movement started 
I, if you go back, you'll see I've built my own printers. I've built CNC machines. I've done it all. I've written the code for it. I, uh, it it's for uh, some of the Delta machines that are out there. You're probably using my code. Uh, I'm from the beginning. I was, I've even been a guest speaker at maker fairs. All right. Any cubic really knocked it out of the park with this one, magnetic bed, everything you need soup. Not you, this is the one where you, it, you got, you just basically bolt the uprights on and you're printing. Uh, and that's the one thing that I, I kind of got tired of. I got tired of building my own ones. I just want them to work. I want it to be like a toaster. I want to press the button. I want to get toast. Is it asking too much? 279 for an entry level. This is the closest you're going to get to it. There's going to be a little bit of assembly, but nothing much. And you're going to be able to start printing right away. Now, if you want something that is legit toast, I think you still have to bolt the uprights on, but this thing's all built in. The only negative I'll say is the display is forward facing. It'd be nice if it tilted up. That's not a lot to, uh, to say about it. This is normally like an $800, $900 machine, almost $1,000 some places. This is just well thought out, well designed, well built. Again, it's Anchor, all right? Anchor makes great stuff. This is the factory refurb on it, okay? $500, you're getting a ridiculously good machine for about half price. Now that said, you look at the ratings, you're like, but hey, dude, this look at those ratings. Look at there's that's terrible ratings. Okay, let's look at the one star ratings. There's there aren't any. They somebody somebody clicked one star, and I don't know anybody who just clicks one star and then just leaves it. Uh, people who click one star have something to say, and they say it. So I think somebody just fat fingered or screwed up the reviews on this one. Uh, if you look at the regular one, it's got great reviews. I would, I'll, I'll put my stamp of approval on this one, regardless of the reviews. All right. And the last item we are, I guess that is actually the last time because the last time was the Viper. There we go. I know we had a lot to go through. I've got even more for you because we've got a spreadsheet. Yesterday, the, uh, the viewers were so helpful. We set up a public spreadsheet and went through it and we have, Oh my gosh, how much is it? Like 150 lines, 100, oh, not quite. We have 141 lines of all the hot uh, tool deals and other deals and uh, Aqua Joe steel garden hose and uh, portable refrigerators and ninth gen iPads and uh, DeWalt T-Stack rolling toolboxes, tons of great stuff. Go check it out. I'll put the link to this down below as well. Anyway, thanks for bearing with us. Thanks to you for everyone who supported us through the 24 hours yesterday. I can't believe I'm back here doing it today. I thought I would be asleep till Friday. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.